Hello Gothic friends, Razin Sunay, and welcome back to the worst let's play of the world, Gothic 2, Live Edition Hardcore. We are uh, in front of the mercenaries entrance, we are going to see what the guys want with us and how can we join them. If we actually decide to join them, but I believe we are going to go Dragon Hunter, even though I don't like the Dragon Hunter armor. But as a, we are bow, that makes the most sense because the paladins, they have range spells, the magicians, they arrange uh, characters, but... The mercenaries only have close combat, and as we play the bow, that would make the most sense to have both of them. So let's see what sentence I want. Think you are going? I wanted to have a look around. That's all. <laughs> There's a heap of trouble here for men like you. Are you telling me you just want to look around? Ha! So you're headed for the farm. Why else would you have trudged all the way here? Hmm? So don't give me any of that bullshit, and let me search you, and you can go on your way. Suit yourself. Search me then. Now then, let's see what we have here. Ah, gold. It can be very dangerous carrying so much gold around. A lot of mercenaries are real cutthroats, not honest fellows like me. I only want 50 gold pieces from you. That's the toll here. And you only need to pay once. That's fair, isn't it? Okay. We will get revenge on you. Oh, we can steal from him, right? And? How are things? Not many people come this way, but up to now, every one of them has paid my toll. I have come to join you. Nice for you. Do you understand that the mercenaries are going to vote whether you get to join them or not? Nope. Will you vote for me? It doesn't work that way, boy. If I'm expected to vote for you, you're going to have to send some gold my way. How much? 50 gold pieces. That's the toll you would have paid anyway. Will you vote? It doesn't work. How much? 50. Yes. We got the money that we gave him. We stole it back. Weird, but I, I will accept it. He will not vote for us, but it's okay. Oh, Raul. What do you want? Why does he have 470 health? Why that number? I want to have a look around the farm. Don't go into the building on the left. Silvio's in there. He's not in a good mood right now. If he sees a weakling who doesn't belong on the farm, he might get the idea of venting his bad mood on you. what I heard. Okay. What about your wallet? I can't believe that. I want to have a look around the farm. Have fun. Okay. What do you want this time? Why are you annoyed? I want to have a look around the farm. Have fun. Wait a minute. What do you want? I want to join. I want to join up with Lee. Lee won't have much to say around here if he keeps on this way. What do you mean? He wants us all to sit around here and twiddle our thumbs. Intimidate a few farmers now and then and that's it. Silvio always says offense is the best defense, and damn right he is. He really didn't deserve that. Who is Silvio? Our next leader, if you ask me. If you plan on asking him if you can join us, forget it. You look like you're barely good for herding sheep. Okay, do we have to fight him in order to join? Let's check. What do you want this time? Me thinks I'm gonna punch you in the face. What? That's exactly what you need right now. I've been too nice to you so far, haven't I? Show him! Finish him! Don't stop now! Let him have it! Let him have it! Oh, we have the wrong weapon. I just noticed. Finish him! Let him have it! Don't yeah. stop now! Let him have it! Don't stop now! Finish him! Don't stop now! Ah. Parry then! That, that hit the spot! Okay, it wasn't hard at all. Fried meat, where is your weapon? You had a shield also, okay. Yeah, let's equip the, the good weapon. We don't have to use the shield now. 
Uh, I mean the bow. Will it ever change? Would he vote for us? Oh, requires 35. It's better than well, ours. See about that. All right, all right, you win. What do you want? To join you. I'd like to become a mercenary here. Do you mind? Ah, uh, do whatever you want. Okay. Actually, he wasn't needed. What about Rod? 400. He's weaker. Why is Rod weaker than Raul? Hey, you. Makes no sense. What about your money, please? Good. How are things? What do you want from me, Weenie? Weenie. How's it going? That's none of you. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? Listen, boy. It takes a lot of strength to wield a two-handed weapon. Why don't you slink off to the pasture for a game of ring around the rosy with the sheep? Men. I am strong enough. Nonsense. You couldn't even lift a decent sword like mine. I said I am strong enough. Oh, you're killing me. Want to risk a little bet? I bet I can handle your sword. Really? Hmm. How much should I relieve you of? Well, you look like a poor sucker. Let's make it 30 gold pieces. Do you even have that much? I'm curious if I can really hold sure. it. Or they change the requirement. See, then. Here. All right, let's see how strong you are. I can't wield this weapon. That's what I'm saying. Now give me back my weapon. I think not. What was that? I think I'm going to keep it a little longer. Just you wait, you bastard. How does he have a, a weapon? He doesn't he give me his sword? Okay, we have to block, otherwise it's going to take forever. But why cannot we hold it? I'm curious how much strength it needs. I'm really curious how strong it is. Well, at least you've got some gold on you. Yep. I think I'll take your weapon. Did he take his weapon back? Because I really need to check how strong it is. Yeah, he took it back. No, he took my weapon also. Damn it. Okay, I have to redo it. We have to check how strong it is, how much strength it needs. And being healthier wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, we know those lines, so at least. I really well. Here, I can't. That's what now give me back. I, what was I think? I just you. Ah, okay. What yeah. you waiting for? Let him have it. Hang Show on, those boss. Get your ass of it. Go ahead, hit back. We have a bigger Show range him. than him. Why did you go to our shield? Let him have it. Don't take any crap. Give it your all. Let him have it. Not bad. Not bad at all. How much strength does it need? We ate something. I don't know what. Okay, so we need 
45 strength, there is no way. What did we eat? A berry, right? Yeah, we are not going to have to be able to to hold it. Even though we want to learn some strength. But there is no way to get that much strength. Alright, you win. What do you want? To join you. I want to join the mercenaries. So what about handing me my sword back first, eh? Here's your sword back. High time, too. I want to join the mercenaries. Okay, I don't carry grudges. You can fight, and that's what counts. Most of the lads here think nothing of a little brawl amongst friends. You'll get used to that. He's a cool guy. As far as I'm concerned, you're in. Can you teach me how to handle two-handed weapons? I'm not a bad fighter, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. Still, I think I can show you the basics of two-handed combat anyway. Okay, we got two people to vote for us. Three with Buster, Fest Fester and uh, Santana hey, is against you. us because we stole his money. <laughs> Doing all right? Hey, I know you. From the colony. What do you want here? To join you? I've come to join you. Why not? I've got nothing against it. Anyway, you freed our mind from the guards back then. But don't count on getting along with the others here so easily. A lot of newbies have come along since then. And some of the old mercenaries won't remember you. I almost didn't recognize you. You look rather haggard. When the barrier fell, I barely got away with my life. Looks like you got lucky then. Do you have anything to sell? Oh, don't ask. Bennett, one of the new guys, takes care of the weapons and armor now. In the colony, I was responsible for Lee's entire weapons store. And then along came a trained smith and pow, I'm out of a job. Audio. I desperately need a new job, even if all I do is guard the farms out there. I don't care, just as long as I'm not twiddling my thumbs here anymore. And? Found a new task yet? Not so far. Let me know if you have a job for me. Okay, how much bow? We are 20. Can we bypass no, the training thingy? Have you tried finding a job in town? In the city? <laughs> Wild horses couldn't drag me there. Where do you think I would want to work there as a militia soldier? I can just imagine myself in the courtier's uniform, and then that obsession with obedience. Nah, forget it. There may not be anything to do here on the farm, but at least I can do what I want. He can teach us both. Teach me anything? I can teach you a few tricks in handling a bow if you want. I don't have anything better to do right now anyway. Nobody will learn anything from me. I want to learn more about archery. What should I teach you? So, let's see if we can do the trick. One, two, three, four, one more, five. There you go. Your aim is more accurate already. I believe we managed it. Yes, it's still working. We are a marksman now. Okay, that's Wolf. It's quite late. We should sleep. And then we have all the NPCs out here. Can we sleep in the... We have to remember we don't have a lot of dexterity because we changed the weapon. Gunner is here. Hey, you! you listen to the wrong people. What's up? Uh, since Onar announced he was hiring mercenaries, the court's been overflowing with nothing but rogues. All the rabble who didn't have the guts to come out of the woods before are here now. The bastards really came from everywhere. What's up? Uh, all the rabble who did the oh. best. The mercenaries came from everywhere? Most of them came from the penal colony. Another group of mercenaries came from the south, where they were probably hunting orcs. I bet that a few of the bandits from the mountains have shown up as well by now to get a free meal. Huh. What do you know about the mercenaries from the south? Not much. So far as I know, they were hunting orcs there. 
Silvio is their boss. Your Olco, boss, Silvio. Sentenza, Raul, and a few others work for him. Which one of them came from the colony? Lee and his people. Torloff, Kord, Jarvis, Wolf, and whoever else. What bandits were you talking about? Nah, I'm just blabbering. I'm not really sure about it. There are mountains with abandoned mines south of the valley. Some bandits are hiding up there. They're also convicts from the colony, just like most of the mercenaries in this court. The only difference is that they're even worse scum. They kill anyone who gets too close. Bastards. Mate. Please tell me. We can sleep somewhere. Oh, three bad. That's so good that they implemented it. Six, they still sleep two more hours, yes. But eight o'clock there, most of them are awake. And I don't know about Bulko, should we fight Bulko now or just wait for later? We just have to look for not touching that. So let's see who's here. How are you? A simple farmer. Quite strong if you ask me. Wolf? Uh, Elena. What do you have for us, Elena? Hello, pretty girl. Hmm, just where did you escape from? Okay. Take your money then, if you're that mean to us. They say you are revolting against the king. My father has decided that it's time we defended ourselves. The militia never helped us anyway. They only came here to drag off our provisions. What kind of work is to be had here on the farm? My father pays money to all the men who help defend the farm. Are you interested? You don't look like someone who has a passion for field labor. How much does your father pay? You'd have to negotiate that with him. He pays All like I know nothing. Is that each mercenary here gets paid every day. Are there any rules here that I should stick to? You don't touch anything here that isn't yours. You stay away from the areas that are none of your business. And if you must pick a fight, stick to the mercenaries. If you start a brawl with the farmers, everybody here will be against you. What's your job here? I sell the goods that we produce. If you want to buy something, just let me know. But let me warn you. I won't stand for either haggling or stealing, understood? I just stole from you. Has anything significant happened lately? A few days ago, my father decreed that we're no longer allowed to sell anything in town. So now I'm staying here on the farm and selling my wares to visitors only. Show me your wares. What can I offer you? Well, the apples. You can be a dump NPC also. But we don't need money yet. 1517 Yeah, this is a bit better This shall not buy much, but still a bit better We only have seven learning points, that's not much So, who are you, Hodge? Wow, he's a strong 700 health Hello, I'm new here don't take this the wrong way, but I'm not really in the mood for conversation. I'm totally wrecked. You're awfully busy, huh? You can say that again. Bennett makes so many weapons that I can hardly keep up with the polishing. Okay, don't give me your money. So much experience. This is What can you tell me about the farm? That big building is his house. He vacated a wing for the mercenaries. We farmers have had to bunk in the barn ever since. But it's all right with me. It's good that we have people who guard the farm. The building here is the kitchen. Maybe you'll be lucky and Thecla will have something farmer. for you to eat. One walking. What about the mercenaries? Onar hired them to keep the city militia off our backs. But they also guard the farm, the sheep, and us farmers. So don't even think about stealing anything or rummaging around in somebody's chest. They're just waiting for a chance to knock you down. The rain just started to pour. Can I so buy beautiful. From you? I don't have much. We take almost all the swords and axes into Onar's house. Okay, what do you have? Oh, you have a good sword. But that's it. Can you teach me anything? Oh, he can teach us also mining. 
Bennett, why are you mad at us? What can we do for you? I do not sell any weapons. Khaled does. He's in the house with Onar. What about your money? So much experience. What kinds of weapons do you make? Plain swords at the moment, not much else. But if I had some magic ore, I could forge weapons that are better than all comparable weapons made from regular old steel. You wouldn't happen to know where to find some around here. Besides in the valley of mines, I mean. No, of course not. I know, but the bandits up there, at the texture. Are you with the farmers or the mercenaries? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Well, I was just curious. Have you ever seen a farmer who also forges weapons? No. Then why do you ask such stupid questions? I want to join the mercenaries. Stop blabbering then. Go to Torloff and let him put you to the test. Yeah, and that's what I don't really like about the mercenaries. I was a mercenary, I was with you guys, we fought together, and now all of a sudden I have, you have to put me to the test to see if I'm worthy, really, after three weeks. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons, but you don't even know the basics. First you need to learn how to forge a decent sword, then we'll see. What about forging equipment? What do you need? What kind of shield do you have? Yeah, they give so much malus to the one hand, but a lot of protection and critical chance. Mercenary belt, okay. The arrows, thank you very much. Still in... what's this? No clue if we need that. Black or armor. This must be very powerful because look how much it costs. We are not going to learn to forge uh, armors. I, want to join I mean not uh, armors, yes, but not... Uh, oh. Weapons, we, are, we don't need them because we are dexterity based character. So, Cypher. How are things? Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I used to deal in swamp weed back in the colony. Remember? I want to join Lee's people. Lee's people? If Lee keeps on this way, they soon won't be his anymore. Why? Lee has always been a quiet one. It was that way in the colony, too. But lately, he's overdoing it. He just wants to sit here and wait until the paladins drop dead from starvation. Silvio thinks we should clean up a bit on the small farms and outside the city. I think that would make for an excellent change. At the moment, most of us are just twiddling our thumbs here. Do you want to join up anyway? Yeah, I don't think that's a smart idea. The paladins are there and they are very powerful guys. So how much... Oh, we can steal from Cypher now. And what are you dealing in now? Ah, don't ask. I brought a whole package of swamp weed with me from the mining colony. Many of the mercenaries like a little smoke now and then. I've earned a small fortune on the side. But some bastard stole all the weed from my chest. I'm pretty sure it was that Bodo. He bunks in the same room as me. And he always grins at me like such an idiot. So mean. What are you going to do about the thief then? One of these days, I'll catch him puffing away on my weed. And then, I'll find a quiet spot and teach him a lesson he won't forget. If I knock him down here in the middle of the yard, the other farmers will notice, and I'll pay an arm and a leg. How come? Quite simple. We can't rough up the farmers, otherwise Lee makes us pay a heavy fine. That's the way Onar wants it. And the more witnesses there are, the more of a fuss there is. That makes things more expensive. So I'll pull the thing off nice and inconspicuously. An assassin. I want to become one of you no matter what. You already know that we take a boat on every new recruit. What are you hinting at? Well, I haven't had any to smoke in a long time. Bring me a few swamp weed reefers and you got my boat. You can surely scare some up someplace. About the swamp weed. Here's a few stocks for you. Oh, you are my man. You've got my vote. Easy peasy. Show me your wares. Sure. Help yourself. Some arrows? Oh, he doesn't have the orc weapon. Oh, he does. So this is the, the other spot where you can get an orc weapon without fighting the orc. 
So Bodo, you have something with Cypher, right? Hey, you! Nothing amazes me anymore. First your money. How's it going? The militia has bullied us long enough. Now that the mercenaries are on our side, they won't dare to just show up here anymore. The king may think he can get away with anything, but we're not going to take it anymore. Nobody knew that all along. In town, they're talking about a peasant's revolt. Nonsense. We aren't doing anything except defending what we've worked hard for. It's certainly true that the war is being fought on the backs of the peasants, but Onar is no longer prepared to just stand by and watch while the king bleeds us dry. Can I rest somewhere around here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the barn. But don't lie down in a mercenary's bed by mistake. Onar makes sure that they leave us farmers alone. But with strangers who don't belong on the farm, the mercenaries can do whatever they like. We all have to beat two of them. Cypher told me somebody stole a package of swamp weed from him. And? He thinks you were the one who took it. Oh, that's why the guy is always gopping at me so stupidly. I've been extra friendly to him lately because he seems to have hit a rough spot. But there was nothing I could do. I'd look at him friendly like and he'd stare at me like he wanted to kill me. Okay. Hey, Why are you? they looking at us? It was his decision, wasn't it? If we beat Bulka now, I believe we are going to, to miss on a Teclas stew. Not sure, but I believe it as the the way. So, do we have anything here? Two middle knotweeds. Ah, some some items and the letter satchel. Okay. So this guy Dar might know something. He's smoking a lot, right? What are you smoking there? Wanna toke? I didn't have enough problems. Why haven't I heard of Sure. Sure. Nothing amazes me anymore. He thinks it's as easy as that. He should have known better. Do you really think? Not bad. Huh? You toast all of it. You didn't smoke Where'd it you all. Get the stuff? Why haven't I heard about this before? Nothing's ever gonna change that. Is it really true? That's no secret. I have my sources. Do you do anything besides smoke? Not at the moment. Nobody ever asks me. Nobody ever I want to join the mercenaries. Do you mind? Who cares? Cypher told me that someone stole a package of swamp weed from him. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Would you know anything about that? No. Where's the package? What do I know? Nothing you can do about it. I couldn't get away with that. I'll knock it out of you. you Relax, really I'm way too stoned to fight with you. Here, first take a big toke. Where's the package? What do I know? Okay. He doesn't know anything. You don't have to ask me that. That's that cipher. There is a trick with him. Hey! I know who took your weed. Who? Was it that Bodo? No, one of the mercenaries did it. Dar. That bastard. Where is he? Do you really think? Finding him won't help you. He doesn't have the package anymore. He sold it in Carinus. Where is he? Behind the kitchen building on the corner. I'll flatten him. He has the work weapon, wall. He doesn't know to fight with two handed. Let's see. Okay. I never knew that. Can't rely you on nothing something. there. He didn't even have any gold on you. Why can't we get his nothing weapons? We there. Weird. Wait a minute. True. No one really wants to hear that. You really gave Dar what for? Are you feeling better now? Kinds of rumors. Yeah, that felt good. Not to him, I suppose. The little beggar has no business going through my chest. Would this package of swamp weed happen to be yours? Well, I'll be... 
Where'd you get that? It's a long story. Doesn't matter. Really, you're a decent guy. Here, take this as a reward. Have fun with it. First, let me roll a few. 200 gold for it. Nice. Blabbermouth, you told Cypher I took his weed. Like hell will I vote for you. Nothing to be had there. Why can't we take nothing his bow and sword? Nothing, to, nothing to be had there. That's a bug. Oh well, at least we we have done. Who said that? We have done it him. He doesn't want to vote for us. He gets the the beating. So who do we have here? Jarvis. Don't I know you from somewhere? It's possible. I was in the colony too. Right. What do you want? To join you and your pocket. How's the situation? Right now, we've got real trouble. Two factions are building up amongst us mercenaries. Silvio and his people doubt that Lee is following the right plan. How come there are two factions? Most of us came out of the colony with Lee back then, but some of the mercenaries hooked up with us later. They didn't come from the colony, but were farther south fighting the Yorks. Somehow they got wind that Lee needed people. Their leader was Silvio. He agreed that Lee was in charge, but now he's trying to stir up the mercenaries against them in his plan. A lot of Lee's people don't think that it's a big problem, but I know guys like Silvio. He'll go to extremes to realize his ideas. The farmer here is twitching, like he's possessed. Do you know what Lee's intentions are? Lee wants us to wait and starve the paladins in the city. He is planning to get us all away from the island. And Enos knows I've got nothing against getting away from here. I don't really know how he's planning to go about it, but I trust him. He's led us well so far. Do you know what Silvio is planning? Silvio found out that some of the paladins have moved out to the old colony. He says the rest of the paladins wouldn't dare to attack us here and wants to take advantage of the situation. Plunder the small farms, waylay the militia patrols outside the city, hold up travelers, things like that. But Lee thinks that would be the worst thing we could do in our That's situation. That's not fun. I want to become a mercenary. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Where's the problem? Well, I either have to vote for you or against you. And in the situation we're in, I'll only vote for you if I can be sure that you're on Lee's side. So what should I do? Simple. Beat up a few of Silvio's boys. That way both sides will know exactly where you stand. And if you stick to the rules for a duel, you'll even win the respect of the others. What are the rules for a duel? Go to Torloff and let him explain it if you're interested. Just so we understand each other. I don't care if you stick to the rules or not. Just as long as the boys wind up out coal in the mud. His men. Which of the mercenaries are Silvio's men? There are six men. First of all, Silvio himself and his right-hand man, Bulko. Then there's Rod, Sentenza, Fester, and Raoul. The rest of the people are either neutral or on Lee's side. How many of Silvio's people should I defeat? If you knock three of them to the ground, then you've proven which side you're on. Whom you choose is your business. Just one little hint. This isn't about proving your courage. Don't go up against Silvio himself. He'll make mincemeat out of you. Yeah, we cannot fight with the Silvio. How many of Silvio's men are still on my list? Rod looks a little worse for the wear. Fester tried to take me for a ride. That was his mistake. I went to see Raoul, and he was badly in need of a proper licking. That's enough. That's enough. I'm impressed. If Lee asks me, I can vote for you without hesitation. Thank you. We are not going to beat Bulko now because we can do what it later. What are you doing here in my kitchen? I'm taking your money. Something smells delicious here. Oh, yes. I know the likes of you. They're swarming all over the place. First, they try to get on your good side. And then, when you need them, they're nowhere to be seen. I'm hungry. 
I don't that dish out no food to tramps. I only feed people who work. But and I do work. Mercenary riffraff, of course. I couldn't care less. I'm looking for work. You want to work here on the farm? Only out. Onar can decide that. The farm is his, and Get so is the that. entire valley. I could have told you that. Before. I need a place to sleep. Don't even think about sleeping in my kitchen. Go find yourself a place in the barn. It's better to watch out. Actually, I was planning to join the mercenaries. So you're another of those felons from the penal colony? I might have known. Just leave me alone. There's already enough of your kind around here. What's your problem with the mercenaries? Ah, oh, those morons really get on my nerves. Especially Silvio and his fat buddy, Bulko. The two of them have been sitting in their corner for days now, making life miserable for me. The soup's too hot, the meat's too tough, etc. and so forth. Then why don't you do anything about it? And what am I to do, Mr. Smarty Pants? She's mean them with my and mad. Pin? I can do that to the farmers, but these lowly bastards just hit back. Want me to teach the two of them some manners? You better not try that, honey. As far as I know, Silvio has magic armor. He can't be defeated. And what about Bulko? That guy is as strong as an ox. So far, he has flattened anyone who tried to mess with him or Silvio. She doesn't give us the quest to, to go to Sagita. Silvio, hey, my friend. You. It has come to my attention that you have it in for my boys. And as far as I know, you're one of Lee's protégés. I'm warning you. A few things are going to be different around here soon. And we'll talk about this again then. We need to talk, you and I. What do you want? I think the best thing would be if you didn't show your face on the farm anymore. See to it that you're gone by tomorrow. We understand each other. Oh boy, he's pissed. That's all just got. Got okay. About that. Of course we, got it. we got his money at least. So let's check a chord and then I think I'm going to make a cut. Because this takes forever. Where is Mr. Cord now? He is here, hidden. Hey. If you have a problem with wolves or field raiders, go talk to one of the younger mercenaries. You can come to me when the paladins show up here. What? Whenever one of you peasants comes to me, it's always about slaughtering innocent beasts. I'm not a peasant. Oh? What is it you want then? You don't remember me? Yeah, good friends I had, right? Want your money? Teach me how to fight. I only train mercenaries or worthy candidates. I want to become a mercenary. You look more like someone who'd been born to work in the field, boy. Can you wield a weapon then? So, how about one-handed weapons? Well... And two-handed weapons then? I'm surely gonna get better. In other words, you're a damn greenhorn. Each mercenary needs to be able to rely on his comrades. All our lives depend on that. As long as you barely know how to wield a weapon, you're in the wrong place here. Yeah, he doesn't teach us because we need 30 in something. One hand or two handed. He doesn't know about a uh, bow. That, that's also a weapon that you can fight with. So let's see Lee. Okay, we stuck ourselves. Hey, where you think you're going? To the Inside? house, of course. Onar pays us not to let guys like you in here. I want to talk to Lee. <laughs> what do you want from him? He and I go way back. You're a pal of Lee's? I don't believe a word. But go on in. If he doesn't recognize you, <laughs> he'll know it. Lee's in the right wing. Don't even think about wandering around anywhere else. I couldn't care less. He's not in the right wing, he's right in front of us. He has a beautiful weapon now. So I'm going to make a cut here because we have a lot to do with the mercenaries to be able to join them. Probably in the next episode or the next next episode we are going to be a mercenary. So thank you very much guys for joining me and being able to watch my worst let's play. Thank you very much again. So be cool and uh, bye bye.